Hi guys, it's Maria here. Welcome back. I'm doing a reading this time about procrastination and about actions that we can take uh, to start something we really want to do, but we just can't do it. We just uh, keep living it for tomorrow and this tomorrow actually never comes. So uh, stay connected to me. I'm going to ask the angels what we can do to, to actually take an action towards what we want. And let's see what they tell us. Okay, guys, so let's start our reading. This was actually a suggestion from a friend of mine. She's actually asking me uh, to do this reading because she, she has some plans. She has some stuff that she really, really want to do it. But she just keep, uh, you know, living it and just dropping every day and not starting it. So she was asking me to actually do this reading and so I can help other people also that are struggling with this. It's not only you guys, I, I struggle with this all the time also. It's a constant um, thing that just happens to us. So let's actually ask the angels what they can tell us about it, what, what we can do to start something we want to do to, you know, do it today, do it now instead of living for tomorrow and just leaving it behind and just reaching a point that you actually just give up. So, actually, um, before I do the reading, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about it and how I actually um, deal with it sometimes when I, when I face this kind of situation. And it actually helps me a lot. And it's, it's been working for me lately. So, what I actually do when I face something that is um, challenging like this, like I want to do something, but... You know, when your mind just keeps telling you and giving you a thousand excuses why not to do it and you just just listen to it instead of actually listening to your heart and listening to what you want. So when I face something like this, I actually start thinking, for example, um, let's say you want to start going to the gym. Okay, you want to start working out, you feel excited and you really want to do it. And just, you know, okay, tomorrow I'll start and then tomorrow comes and then you just don't do it and then it keeps going on and on and on. So let's say you want to go to the gym, okay? Um, in my case, when I face something like this, I would think like, uh, okay, so I want to go to the gym. And my ego is telling me, no, you know, you're tired, you know, live it for tomorrow. You can do it tomorrow. Today you have a lot of things to do and you just keep finding something to do instead of going to the gym. Um, so what I actually do is like, I think about the people that actually are uh, successful in it. For example, someone that is actually working out, that is actually going to the gym every day. And I, I, I put myself like in, in uh, actually I bring them to my situation and just think about what they would do in my case for example if someone is really working out every day and i'm sure this person also faces this kind of things like okay i don't want to go today but they still go so how did they do it that's what i think like okay so if 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 i was one of them and they were facing this and they were thinking like oh, i'm not gonna go today what would make them think like that what would make them actually go you know, so just think like, you know, which, uh, which kind of thoughts would they, th would they have to actually go, you know? So then you, you will find also, uh, some kind of uh, excitement to go, you know? So just think about someone who is actually success successful in it, who's actually working and doing what you want to do and think about what would they think uh, if this thought is coming to their mind, okay, if, they, if they're su successful in their jobs, okay, if they're successful doing what they love to do. And when, when they start having this kind of thoughts and, you know, like, oh, I'm not going to do it today, what, what did they think at that point that actually made them step forward and say, no, okay, I'm not going to listen to this. I'm going to go anyways. Okay, I'm going to do it anyways. Even though I don't want to do it, even though, I have a thousand of things that I, I can do instead, or even though I'm just, I feel no energy, I'm still going to do it. 
So, you know, just think of as if you are one of them, as if you're already there doing it. How would they think? You know, how would they react in this situation? And this actually helps a lot. It might seem actually a bit silly or simple, but it actually helps a lot because when you face this kind of situation, you have those two, you know, those two little, uh, you know, uh, confrontations in your head. One saying, no, you gotta go, you gotta go. And the other saying, no, you don't need to go. It's easier to stay home, you know? So which one would you listen, you know? There's always one side of you who wants to go. So think about that one and think like, the, how, this, this, how did these people actually manage to listen to this one? Okay, so actually, you know, if you think about it, it's, it's pretty simple. They actually did listen to this one. They actually, um, they got motivated by, by the result, by, by what they would get after doing it. It's hard to take the first step, but once you do it, you are just so glad you did it. You know, so think as if you're already working out. Think as if you're already doing it. Think as if you're already, you know, working on whatever you want to do and, and working on your passion. And, and think as if this is already happening. You're just facing one day that you're not uh, in the mood, but still you do it. You know what I mean? So just just listen more to 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 your side that want to go you know and, and think about the people that actually are there doing it how did they i'm sure you know think like that think like i do i mean i'm sure they they also faced this i'm sure they also had these moments that they thought like you know i'm just lazy i don't want to do it I, you know you find something else to do and give excuses and I'm sure they also faced this, but they actually overcome this. They actually overcame this. So, you know, just how did they do it? Think about the way they think. And it, it actually helps. Try, try. And then you tell me how did it go for you, okay? If it actually worked somehow, okay? But anyway, let's do the reading. Um, let's see what the angel says, because I'm sure they have a lot of things to talk to us about this and help us anyways um just one more thing guys don't forget to subscribe and comment below um if you if you have any any uh, any suggestion about this you know how do you overcome this kind of things because we're all going to be grateful to know we're all here to help each other so you know just subscribe and comment below so we can actually work together on it uh and one more thing um what did I want to tell you guys? Uh, 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 I think that's it. Ah, yeah, actually, sorry, guys. Uh, one more thing I want to tell you. Um, leave a comment below with suggestions also for videos. Which things do you want me to talk about? Which things do you want me to ask the angels about? And get some guidance to help us all, okay? So just give suggestions or whatever you're going through now and you just need some help, just, you can just write down below and I will, I will uh, do a reading, definitely. I will be happy to help, okay? All right, so let's do a reading. Today I'm using the um, uh, Daily Guidance from Your Angels, uh, tar uh, Oracle card from The Ring Virtue. And uh, it's a very nice, actually, kind of um, deck because they give very specific messages about it, so it's good. Anyways, here are the cards. Let's do the reading now. Let me just pray quickly. These cards are amazing. They are so active. I, I I don't even I don't even need to touch them. They start flying away. It's amazing. Anyway, let's do our prayer quickly, and then we can do the reading. Otherwise, the cards are gonna be flying. Uh, so I just ask the angels to uh, come and step forward. Surround us all with their energy, with their love, with their guidance, and speak through this card, speak through me, to give us the right direction to overcome this kind of situation, to actually start acting on the things that we want, and let's just get a guidance and make uh, their message be clear and make, make their message resonate to all of us, and so it is. Okay, let's do it. Um, Okay, I'm gonna shuffle it. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, there you go. There is one. Entrepreneur. Self-employment suits your disposition and intention. 
Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal, loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. This is very nice. This is actually a good card. It's not only for people who are going to start their own business and so in this kind of things. But what they are actually telling us is that we we can take control, you know. Whenever you want to do something, just ask them. You if you feel like stuck, ask them, ask for their guidance, ask for their help, ask them to bring you energy to find the, to, to to help you to start what you want to do, you know. They are there they're there to help us. That's what they're saying, you know. Just they will be by your by by our side. So whatever we choose, they will be there. And they're just waiting to help. So whenever you feel stuck somehow and you want to start, you know, doing something, ask for their help, ask for their guidance, ask them to give you um, enough energy, enough, uh, you know, uh, how can I say, just stamina to actually do it and, and, and get excited about it. Um, this is also talking uh, to us uh, to follow your intuition, to follow divine guidance. So... It's just like I said in the beginning, they want us to listen to our hearts, listen to what we actually want, what we actually want from this situation. Don't listen to the excuses because this is the ego talking. And you and your own soul, that's what you have to listen to, what you really want to do. So don't don't think about, you know, the 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 negativity that your ego might be uh, giving you and blocking you from doing it. Think about the results. Think about what you will get after you actually do this, you know, and, and think about how happy you're going to be if you actually manage to, to jump this uh, obstacle and go and do it, you know. Think about afterwards how it's going to be. And, do, and then that's going to help you to actually do it, to actually overcome this barrier and, and, and start what you want to do. So by this cards, uh, that's what they want us to, to do uh, regarding this. Uh, just, you know, listen to them, ask for their help and take a step forward and start doing what you want to do. Like listen, literally listen to your heart. Okay, don't listen to negativity that is coming up to your mind because that's going to trick you. So listen to the things you want. Listen to, you know, uh, you know that really strong feeling when we really want something. Listen to that. Remember, it like when you were a child. Okay, let's say you wanted a toy or something, and you really, really wanted, and it didn't matter whatever it was, even if it was something that. Uh, it was dangerous or, oh, you know, your parents didn't want to give it to you, but you wanted it and, and still you kept, uh, uh, you kept dreaming and, and, and wanting it, even though it, it didn't matter whatever it was, it, what was surrounding it, even if your, uh, your mind was telling you, no, you know, this is expensive or whatever, still as a child you want it anyways you know it doesn't matter why or how you still want it and that's what they're telling us you know just uh, just uh focus on on, on the results Fo focus on on what you are gonna get from it and just uh take a step forward you know and, and just leave your ego uh on the side you know uh, learn to recognize when is your heart talking and when is your ego talking you know and learn to recognize and that's when you're going to trick yourself that's when you're going to trick your ego okay so if um if you have these two people telling you and talking to you do it or don't do it go or don't go listen to what you really want so you want to go right you want to do it so be smart enough to say no i'm not gonna listen to you okay i'm not gonna listen to your negativity i'm gonna listen to what i really want and i will do it okay so that's okay yeah like I said, that's uh, one of the ways they're telling us that we can actually work on it. So let's see what else they have to tell us. Okay. Gave us the message. It's here. <laughs> Wedding. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. 
It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. Um, well, it's uh, this is a this is a reading, guys. So it's not literally wedding. Okay, we're talking about procrastination. So what they want to tell us about this actually is, you know, if you're even if you're married or not. Uh, let's okay for those who are married. Remember when you were planning your wedding? Weren't you super excited about it? Weren't you super like, you know, getting the details and just, you know, waiting for the day and planning? And actually, you were taking a step forward towards your dream wedding, wasn't it? You were actually doing it because of the results, because that's what you wanted. So you were actually doing it. And it's the same for those who are not married yet. You know, I'm sure you guys already thought of, even when you were younger, when you were a child, of your wedding. So, you know, the, the whole planning thing is is what they, uh, they are actually uh, telling us about. Is concentrating on, on the details and on the things that you want. You know, just forget about everything else and keep moving slowly towards the end, towards what you want. So that's what they want to tell us about this card. It's actually a very nice message because um, when you think about wedding, there's so much, right? There's so many things that you have to plan. There's so many things. It's so overwhelming. So many things you have to think about and you are worried, but still, it's your wedding day. Still, even though you're stressed, even though there's other things that are coming up and showing up and, and making you worried, Still you do it. Still you move forward because you're just aiming the result. You're aiming the, the you know, the wedding day. And that's what they want to tell us. Pretend every day is your wedding. Pretend every day, I mean, every day is your uh, plan for your wedding, you know. So instead of your wedding, it's going to be the gym. So how are you going to, how are you going to get to the gym? How are you going to get the result you want from the gym? by planning day by day, by going to the gym day by day. And it's the same for everything else, you know, uh, to uh, start working on your dream uh, job. You have, to you have to do it. You have to do step by step and just keep moving, you know, until you actually get there. So you have to aim and focus on the solution, focus on the end, on the result. And that's what, once again, it's the same thing as this first card. They're, both of them are saying, you know, focus uh, on, on what's the result. What do you want from this thing? That's the first, first thing you have to think. What do you actually want to get from this thing that you're planning to do? Okay? And by that, that that's going to be a reason. That's going to be what, what you have to think every day. You know, okay, so I want to get fit. So how, how am I going to get fit? By eating junk food? No. You know, by uh, staying home and eating chocolates every day, all day long? No. So, you know, and, and then, like I told you, then think about, okay, so how did uh, someone who was, I don't know, who was 100 kilo uh, weight manage to go to 50 kilo weight? How, you know, how did they think? How did they actually go? Because they were aiming to lose weight. They were looking forward to the result. And that's what they are telling us. Plan everything. Do it slowly, but do it, you know, um, with your with your heart. Do it thinking on the things that you wanna you wanna take from it. Okay? And yeah, that's what it is. Let's take another card to see if there's something else. Okay. It's nice, isn't it? Their messages are beautiful. But I already kind of thought that they were going to tell us that we have to think about the results, you know. That's our, that has to be our excitement about the act acting on, on whatever we want. But let's see if there's something else or if they're just going to insist in this uh, um, thinking about the results. Okay. Release and surrender. Uh, that's so nice. I love this one. 
We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and hearts to our love and assistance. Here you go. Such a nice card. So can you guys actually um, uh, connect to this card or not? Because this is so nice. It's so clear, the, the message. So they are telling us to surrender. That's exactly the words that they're using. Surrender to it, you know. Don't overthink. Don't over uh, stress yourself about things. Just do it, you know. If you're lazy, put on, it's like I always say, go slow. Put on your, uh, you want to go to the gym, put on your gym clothes. And then you go and have breakfast. And just stay with the gym clothes for a while until you actually... Uh, you know, get used to the idea that you're going to the gym. And then slowly, then you go to your car and then you go to the gym. But do, take a step, you know, slow, step by step. Even, let's say, if you want to start working out at home, okay? You don't need to start doing a one-hour workout like crazy, you know? Do a 10 minutes today and then go and take a shower. And then do 15 minutes tomorrow and then go and take a shower. And then do 20 minutes. And then slowly you will start getting excited about it. So, you know, do it slowly. You don't need to force yourself to do everything at once. But go slow. Do something. You know, as long as you do something, even if it's small, just do something. You know, move. Don't, don't get stuck. Don't listen to your ego and, and find all the reasons not to do it. Find all the reasons to actually do it. You know, you're aiming something out of it. So, by... You know, you're never going to get what you want if you don't start. You know what I mean? Things are not going to fall from heaven in your hands and that's it. So you have to actually take action. So release this. This uh, First of all, don't judge yourself for not doing something today. Okay? If you didn't manage to start today, that's okay. It's normal. All of us go through it. Try again tomorrow. Okay? Don't judge yourself. Just... Release this energy because then you get stuck even, uh, it, it's even worse. So release and surrender and ask, ask for their help. You know, they're there to help us. They're there to guide us and just help us, you know, ask them to actually take your hand and take you to the gym. Okay. Ask them to actually guide you in and just push you to the gym and they will do it. You know, they're, they're just waiting uh, for us to ask for their help. They cannot do it without us asking they you know they can't they can't interfere so you have to ask you know even if it sounds silly to you you know if you feel like you're losing your hopes of going and starting it again today ask them please guys you know angels or whoever is there please help me to go somehow just make me go somehow okay give me you know a anything just make me go help me to actually start this okay thank you and that's it and they will help you you know so it's very it's pretty simple guys it's not i know it's really hard to actually uh just you know i, I know it's hard to i mean it's easy to say and it's not that easy to put in action but you know start thinking about it every day okay start doing something every day even if it's small it's like i told you aim the Aim the, the, the end, aim the results, you know, think about the results, think about what you want from it, think about how it's going to, how happy you're going to be after some time, after you actually started doing this, okay? Think about um, how good it's going to be for you and, and, and how, you know, it's just amazing the feeling we have when we actually overcome this barrier, you know, when we, when you actually force yourself to do something and then when you finish, you feel so happy that you actually did it, you know? So think about this, think about how happy you're going to be after you've done it. Okay. And ask for their guidance, ask for their help. Think it's again, it's like I told you, think about, uh, the people that are actually successful in it. They're actually doing it. How did they overcome this? You know, think like them. You know, think as if you're one of them already. So this might help also. Okay. And I think that's it, guys. Uh, we already have quite a long uh, video. So 
you know, I like talking. I can stay here for hours talking to you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, once again, thank you so much for being here, for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment below. Um, I'm happy to, to contact, uh, to, to talk to you guys and to receive your messages all the time. Go to my Facebook also, my Facebook page, Maria Molina Holistic Healing. And I'm there for you guys. And yeah, I mean, let's be, you know, spiritual friends. All right. And I'll see you guys very soon again. Thank you for watching. Namaste, guys.